love the red table talk with Snoop Dogg. How he brought up getting checked and checking others. That one goes with the other. And it's not a shared contribution that shouldn't be evaluated for each person. That's what you should be doing when, if you're going to check others, you got to be able to get checked too. And once you resonate with, no, I'm not like that. That's not me. If that's the first answer you give, if that's the first answer that Snoop Dogg gave to himself, Snoop Dogg wouldn't be checking himself then. But no one can say that I can check myself with everything. I understand myself to a degree that nobody else could. Well, that is a very bad association because now what you're, what is being said in that is that I know mostly about myself. No one else can know me. No one else can get to know me. Okay, well, that's a wall then. It's not even a problem of you getting checked or not. It's about literally that no one can be let into this. Well, if no one can be that close to you to check you, then you're not going to be close with anybody. That's literally it. And that may be the relationships that want to be built in that situation. But I liked what Snoop Dogg said because what Snoop Dogg is showing is growth in wanting those relationships, not in discouraging them. And that's what's beautiful about what Snoop Dogg said to me is that it's a very big impact on not only what you're going to throw at someone because of how they portray something or what it means to you, but also what is portrayed of you, of me, and how it signifies from the other side, what they see. And I think that's important that I don't just disqualify that. But I look at that and I say, oh, okay, I'm being checked on something. Well, what did I do in this situation? And I respect that because I think there's hardly any of that. <laughs> no put downs, but I'm recognizing myself that there's mostly implicit or explicit sort of ways to understand things rather than being talked in conversation through it with communication. Very important part that maybe sometimes isn't put through because it's harder. It's harder to discuss those topics because of this or that. And I think what I thought about is that it's it's fun to see someone at the power level of society, of community, like Snoop Dogg, talk about this. And I'm sure there's going to be people that are discouraging that message. But I think the Red Table Talk was beautiful because it encouraged a I don't need to be right all the time kind of stigma, which is what happens in that, in those kind of celebratorial sort of mass appeal to something. I'm right no matter what because I have a whole fan base. Nobody would come behind me unless I was doing something correct. But no, it's about checking others but being checked too. And having those conversations deeply embedded in it that will connect more with people. And that's what I love about what Snoop Dogg talked about. He literally wanted a conversation about what he did, what he's going to do, and how he's going to portray himself in a better way. Not necessarily because he's being forced to, but because he's evaluating himself. That's it. That's the beauty of what checking others and checking yourself do. And letting others check you and allowing others to check you and evaluating what they check you with. What does this mean? Does it just mean what I'm thinking of instinct? Or if I ruminate on it, will I have another understanding that will stick deeper? And I think that's what makes any sort of critical thought and analysis important. When you're not doing that, you're not making it shaping yourself in a way that's stronger for every party, for everybody involved in your life. Not just you at that point, but everybody around you is going to feel that difference. And everyone around you is going to be able to share more about when you checked them you'll be able to have a deeper connection with them because you're letting you're letting everyone check everybody and come together with it it's beautiful